Hey, what's up guys? I can't believe how much <laughs> interest and requests I've had in personal messages to review the watch I was telling you about. All right, I, I mean, I sometimes I'll do a video and say, oh, check out this new knife and you know, I might, I might get like 50 or 60 people right away and be like, oh, that's awesome, please review the knife. Or if I wait two or three days, please, please, we need to see that knife. I, I'm not kidding when I say there was hundreds of messages uh, asking what the name of this watch is, where they can get it, how much it is. So I, there was a, <laughs> an Uber demand. Yes, we're at Uber level here um, to review this watch. Now, unfortunately, this specific watch is discontinued because I just checked the website to see um, some more information on it that may not have been in the box, and uh, it's discontinued. The good news is that um, there's probably 30 or 40 different watches on there that all have very, very similar functions, okay? And I wasn't, a lot of people said, you're just, you're kidding around, right? I think one person said, you're pulling my pubes, man, right? Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but no, I'm not pulling your pubes. I wouldn't do such a thing. Um, this is a, a real spy camera. It's a, it's a camera and a watch. It is, in this case, this one's HD quality. It's 1080p, um, and it's got infrared in there, so it's night vision as well. Um, it's, it's insane. It's insanely cool. Now, although they don't have this specific one, here's another one that I have, a different example, and we'll go over a couple of features just from, from what the box says here. I'm not gonna get into great depth with these as far as the specifics because there's literally dozens and dozens of them on the website for you to choose from. Different styles, each one has different, you know, one maybe, this one happens to be eight gigabytes. Uh, this one's also eight gigs, so it holds a lot of memory. I can tell you from experience that this one, I just let it run to see how long it would take for the battery run out and or the video to stop. And with this one, this ran about an hour. I had an hour footage, um, but what it did was after every 20 minutes, it cut the video off and then, you know, started up again immediately after. So there's like a one second delay in between, but there were 20 minute videos and there was, um, you know, an hour's worth. So uh, it's slightly over an hour. And then I don't know if the battery died or if just that was enough, if that was, you know, eight gigabytes worth as far as what it's saying it is. But anyway, um, this is, this watch is only 36 bucks. This one was like 60, but they range, I think there's one that's like 20 bucks or $25 and they all have a video function and uh, a camera function. It's just certain, um, there's certain slight differences. Now, obviously these are not, people were trying to figure out the name on this. They're like, oh, it's a G-Shock. It says G-Shock on there, but it's not. It, says, it actually says G-Shook. And if you look on the bottom, it says it's shook resistant or shook wrist resist. So obviously it's a knockoff Faco thing. Um, most of the, what's on the face here is fake. You can see it's not Sunday right now. It's not even, that's not even a digital display. It's just printed on there, S-U-N. And there's 50, I guess, for seconds on the bottom here for the, the fake, uh, um, whatever that's supposed to be, the counter. So obviously, I mean, from first glance, it's very convincing. No one's going to look at this. And in fact, I'm still, I'm wearing this at work and I'm showing off the watch to people who I know. And I'm like, oh, check out this watch. It's really cool. And like, I'm putting it right in their face. There's no reason for them to think there's a camera in it. And I'm still waiting to see how long it takes for them to realize that. Because I'm, I'm wearing it every day. I'm showing it off. You know, I'm wearing it at work just to see it banging around. And so far, it's been fine. As I mentioned, this got very wet. It got smacked a bunch of times. It got dropped. It's been durable as a watch itself. Um... But no one's noticed that there's a camera in it. And some people are looking at it really, really close. And they just, because I'm kind of holding it awkwardly too sometimes. I'm holding it like out, like here, check out my watch. And they're like, okay, get that out of my face. What are you doing? No one knows or cares. Um, but yes, it's very much a real uh, digital camera as well as a video recorder. Um, now I'm going to show you a demonstration in this video of the actual footage. Uh, I tested regular footage, like randomly walking about, as well as trying to aim it inconspicuously at certain objects to get a better um, you know, direction as to what you're trying to film, uh, as well as uh, just audio, because even though it records video, it's recording audio at the same time. This particular watch right here, you can see the, these are all fake, these are, some are buttons, some don't even do anything at all. This obviously does set your time. And as far as the watch um, movement itself, just simple, crappy, whatever, but it works. It has the right time. And it's, it's kept the right time since I've had the watch. So that's your regular adjustment right here for the time of the watch. Um, in this specific watch, 
because each one's different. This one's a little different. I'll show you in a second. But you can see this piece right here has a hole in the bottom. And that's because this is your mic. This doesn't, it doesn't, well, it spins. It can spin off to open up more. But even when it's completely down, it records the audio just fine. And I, I suppose you would want to open up a little bit to let the sound travel in a little bit more. Because if it was tightened down all the way, like on this watch, it's right here. And when this is tightened down all the way, you get no audio at all. This is no pinhole or anything. Once you loosen this up, now you're allowing the sound to travel inside there. And the audio is amazing when it picks up, even when it's in your pocket. So you don't necessarily have to record videos. You can also record audio for something. You may just turn your watch on and leave messages for yourself. You know, you can be, oh crap, you know, don't forget to pick up milk. Click, and then you're done. It's like a, you know, a voice recorder for you. So there's a, a multitude of, uh, of purposes you can have for this watch. But anyway, in this specific one here, like I said, that's the microphone on the bottom right. That's to adjust the time. And there's two buttons on the top here on the, le and the left and the right. Now these actually click. They're buttons. Okay, so they'll freely rotate all around. They won't come off, but they, will, they are actual buttons. All right. So they're mock knobs. <laughs> they turn, but they don't serve a purpose turning. They're actually just buttons. Now to start a video, we're going to look up top here, that little pinhole. We're gonna push this in and hold until we see a blue and red LED. So if I tilt it, you can kind of see the red in there too. That's gonna to blink three times. That's basically turning it on. Now once it's on, I would have pushed this to start a video. So let's start one right now. See, it's gonna blink three more times, just blue, and the video is gonna start. Now this will run, you know, as long as I wanted to. Well, I guess up to 20 minutes, then I'll stop. When we're all done with the video, we're going to push and hold this in completely until it blinks red, where you just saw there. That just shut it off. Now, you could do increments of different videos, but I don't want to. And each time, you would just press it to start it, press it to stop it. Now, same deal if we were to turn this on. Let it go through its motions here. Blue and red is going to blink three times. You can use the other button here to push, and that will take still pictures as opposed to video. So there we go, just took a picture. All right. And I'm gonna hold this down again to shut it off. Those three reds. All right, now on the left hand side here, this unscrews, I showed this briefly before in my EDC video, but this unscrews here to allow a USB cable, which I don't have in this one. I think it's on my computer right now. But USB cable, just like this. Then out. Okay, so this goes into your computer, and the other end plugs right into the watch and clicks in, just like that. And once you click this in, you plug it in, the top's going to light up again blue and red, and then of course your computer will recognize you have something plugged in, and you can get all your files that way. Um, there's no visual screen on this watch. If you look at the website, by the way, the website's tmart.com. And I can't say enough about this website. If you like Deal Extreme, it's the same crap, but the shipping is fast, fast. Okay, I've used Deal Extreme and I love it. And there's the cheapest crap and the weirdest, stupidest, awesomest stuff in the world. But it takes a month to get there. It just it's, it takes forever. This place actually ships fast. They had a, um, uh, I guess they have a warehouse or some distributor in the U.S. So it's not coming from overseas. It's the same stuff. But they, I guess they mass ship it to the U.S. so that when they have people in the U.S. buying it, it's going from a U.S. state to another one as opposed to from who knows where overseas to the U.S. So I really 110% prefer it over Deal Extreme. And they have, like I said, the same array of stuff. It's amazing all the stuff they have on their, on their website. But as far as like surveillance and these watches, there's like dozens and dozens of these. Different looks, different features. Um, prices are vary anywhere from like I said 20 bucks to like 60 bucks or whatever just really interesting but uh, anyway they also have watches that are in like the hundred dollar range that actually have little screens on them so you can watch movies and all kinds of crap but uh, this one does not have a, a visual display so if I want to see what I just recorded the picture I took and the video I took um, I have to plug this in the computer to see not a big deal though because if you put a screen on this try to get this thing back on here Pain in the butt because it's small. Don't want to cross thread it. There we go. Um, if you wanted to 
put a screen on here to view what you would do, it would take away from its incognito-ness, if that's even a real statement. But you see the back's fine, just, you know, flat stainless. And there's no place to view, so it doesn't look out of place. It looks like a normal watch. Someone had commented that it's, a, it's the fattest watch I've ever seen. I mean, look at it compared to my hand. I should have grabbed another watch here, but it's really, it's fatter than some watches. It's not that fat. And look at the style. There's huge watches are very in style right now. But compared to this one here, equally as fat, but uh, a little bit smaller overall. And this one has the leather band. It's real leather. On this one, the links, what I like about these is that it's got some heft to it too. It's, it's a hefty, weighty piece. It actually feels like a nice, expensive watch. It's got solid links. All right, so it's not that cheesy you know, fake Rolex type of thing where it's just the open crimped things on the end. It's comfortable, it's smooth. What I like about this latch on the back part is that there's pieces that you push in on the side, okay, to keep it latched. So it's not like, you know the watches and you gotta get your fingernail and kinda like pop it out. It won't come out unless you push those sides in, okay? And then that latches over the top. Um, it is adjustable, but this happened to fit me pretty good, so I didn't have to adjust it. So I don't really know anything about the adjustments on it, uh, except for there's pins there. I hope they're, they work, so it fits you if you happen to get one. But anyway, like I said, this is a very specific one, this exact one, I should say, they no longer make, or they're discontinued, whatever, they're not buying them. But they have plenty of other ones on there, you know, stainless, as well as the leather bands, all different face configurations. Um, again, the camera on here is at the six o'clock position. So when you're wearing it on your wrist, it's upside down, like whatever your point, if you're looking at your watch, and you'll see this in the video, it starts off upside down, but then obviously when you're wearing it, it's on your, your wrist normally, it's facing outwards, and that's the camera upright, okay? So it'll be at the 12 o'clock position. Um, as far as uh, the dial and everything else, like I said, there's fake markings on it, but it keeps real time. It's, uh, there's glow-in-the-dark um, powder on all these different uh, positions here, as well as the hour hand and the, the uh, minute hand, they glow really bright, and just from the, the, the sun charging it, so it is glow in the dark, whatever. Um, you know, fake, I mean, it says reverse here, and forward, and adjust mode. That's all just fake writing, just to make it look like a watch. So, if you were to, to tell someone, hey, what's wrong with this watch, and they looked at it for a long time, they may eventually figure it out, but walking around, no one would ever in a million years say, hey, is your watch a camera? No. Wouldn't even begin to think that. The possibilities, though, as far as YouTubers go, is fantastic. Now, the one thing I kept thinking of, which is so stupid, but if you happen to watch Shoe Nice, if someone can please tell him to get one of these things, because he uses his cell phone, and he's trying to pretend he's talking on the cell phone to take his, his hidden cameras, video, footage, and uh, this would be a lot better for that. But anyway, <laughs> regardless, um, it's just a fantastic, it's a novelty item to me. It's purely for fun. However, if I happen to have the watch on, and I don't wear this all the time, but if I happen to have it on, and I happen to see something crazy going on, whatever, I can turn it on real quick, you know, take a video, and I'll have it there. Now, I don't know the legalities of um, videos. Like, if I were to talk to someone, and I film them without their knowledge in public, I think I can do it in a public place. It's, I have to really look into that stuff. There's a gray area there, and you don't want to certainly do anything that's against the law. Um... I'm going to say it because I know it's on a lot of your minds. Don't be a pervert. Don't use this in perverted ways, okay? People are already doing that with their cell phone cameras. It's horrible, okay? Don't be that person. Don't abuse technology. That's what everyone does. Enough said on that. But uh, it's pretty cool. I love it. And you can see each one of these kits. This one, you know, comes with your, your um, uh, drivers that you need for this so you can run the program. And then this has a wall charger here. If you just wanted to charge the USB into here, just to charge the battery power on it, if you didn't want to plug in a computer. Of course, instruction manual. And in this case, this has a spare um, knob, just in case you lost it, which is fantastic. Because yeah, if you lost that, that would stink. It wouldn't be, it would work just fine. It wouldn't be as convincing because you'd have a hole in there. In addition, um, it wouldn't be waterproof anymore. I mean, it's water resistant. I shouldn't say waterproof because I don't think it's uh, submersible. But the specs are on the box on this one. And this is actually, I believe it's the only one that has infrared on it. I could be mistaken, but let's see. Yeah, it's infrared, it's 1080p. And you'll see the video quality. Um, camera, it's got audio, video, first in the world. This one is not checked off, but it's an 8 gig. Now, here's the specs on here. 
So video format, AVI, um, 19, uh, yeah, 1920 by 1080. Uh, the pictures are gonna be JPEG or JPGs, four by three ratio. And everything else is there. You can pull it, oh, sorry. I was looking at the box, not through the viewfinder. Pause it right there, perfect. You can get all the information you need. There's some more information. Actually, this one's lying. It's, this one's an eight megapixel, not the 12. But everything else is right. So, uh, yes, yeah, very interesting. Compared to this one, this is like, I think, 60. This one is uh, 35 or 36. Now, this one is slightly different. Let's see, here's the specs on this one. Um, this one obviously does not have the infrared on there. Um, let's see. So, three megapixels. Even though they're saying 0.3 million pixels, I believe a megapixel is a million pixels. So, there you go. Um, AVI, this one, not 1080p, but still significantly video-ish. <laughs> it works. And this one's saying it works for 100 minutes, so perhaps there's a larger battery capacity in this one because there's less video quality. So it's a toss-up, but anyway. Oh, this one actually says music. That's interesting. I didn't even see that before. Because I didn't play with this one that much. I haven't been playing with this one so much, but I guess you can use this as an MP3 player, too. Pretty cool. Interesting. Yeah, but they uh, the website, Team Art is the stuff, I'm telling you. If you are a Deal Extreme fan or if you like any of this stuff from overseas, all these gadgets and they have a million, a million things of everything. And it's really cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna show you the, uh, oh, you know what? Here, before I show you the video footage, which I'm gonna show you in a second, the biggest downside to this is that on the video itself, there's a time, like a date and time. So it's showing you actively, it's like the day, the year, the month, and then the time of day as it's going, your video's recording. I cannot figure out a way to get rid of it. So it's on there and it's also wrong. It, it started, it was programmed when these things came out in like 2007 or something. So you'll see the video footage and I'll have a date stamp on there that's actively rolling with the video. But it's inaccurate, and I, don't, I can't find any possible way to change that. That's the only downside to this, is the video itself would have that in it. However, if you're using even a basic editing program, you can crop that out. If you were to record a video for YouTube, let's just say, um, you can easily zoom in a little bit on the video footage to get that out of your shot, if that makes any sense. Just make sure you, wherever you're filming, you're filming from far back enough where you can zoom in and get everything in frame. Hopefully that made sense. But yes, awesome, awesome stuff. Just total novelty. That's all this is, is a novelty thing. It's not even that useful. It's just cool. And that's okay. We're allowed to like cool stuff sometimes. And these are definitely cool. And I can promise you, this is not the last thing I'm going to get from that website. They have funky, awesome stuff. So yeah, if you guys uh, end up getting one of these, please post in the comments or make a video response when you get yours. You know, show whatever model you got. Talk about it because I'm sure people are interested in it. I know people are interested. But uh, if you do get different ones, let everyone know what the deal is. Um, you know, different faces are going to offer different things. Like I said, with this one, uh, the buttons are pretty much the same, except the the uh, video and the video is up here, I believe, and the camera's down here, as opposed to this one where the uh, video is on the top. Video here, video here, and then camera, camera. Um, they're all going to plug in on the left side, I believe. And the difference with this one, obviously, is the audio. The audio on top here, you have to open up. This one, it's got the hole in the front, so you don't need to unscrew it. Because I haven't played with it much, but I wouldn't have it all the way down. But anyway, uh, depending on the face, it could be more or less um, obvious. Like on this one, because of the green accents, the glow in the dark, you can see that hole bigger. And by the way, as I mentioned before in the EDC video, these other four are the infrared LEDs that help to pick up the video footage when it's much darker out. Now it's not red in the background, it's just lighter, that's all. It just sees in better lighting, or excuse me, it sees better in poorer lighting, but it's not straight up night vision, just so you know. Um, but this one, because it's a busier face and it's completely black, there's no color actually, uh, excuse me, actuating that area, that hole in the bottom looks a little bit more natural. In this case, the hole with the LED is right there, right on the top of my finger. Okay, well, when you turn this on, I believe it's this one, you turn it on and hold it. Uh, maybe not, maybe it's this one. There we go. You see that's where the LED lights up. 
on the bottom right as opposed to the 12 o'clock position. So now I just turned it on and it's the same uh, UI or user interface and that this one you'd hit it again uh, to start a video. And this one just takes a little bit longer. Uh, something to note too is that while you're recording, let me see, I forget how this one works, but no, I shut it off. But anyway, while you're recording, the lights are not lit. So if you're recording and you're like having this right in someone's face, they're not going to see the LEDs blinking or light, uh, you know, lit up or anything like that. Um, it's only when you're actually starting or stopping or changing a mode or something like that. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I mean, the rest, the, the specifics are going to change. I can't tell you all the specifics on this one. I mean, well, I told you most of what you need to know anyway. But you know what I'm saying. They're not making this one anymore. And uh, this one I haven't played enough with to... Uh, to give you more specifics as far as experience, but they're cool, they're awesome, and I, you know, I wanted to use these more to get a more thorough review, exactly, you know, like a professional deal. But you guys rushed me on this one, and I have to say, I don't care. I know that I know the interest is out there, so hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you got some information on it. And yes, as you're about to see, I'll show you the demo footage at the end here. Um, it is, they're really cameras. I'm not choking anyone's chains. I'm not pulling pubes. I'm not, you know. <laughs> blowing smoke you know anyway that's it um <laughs> thanks for watching all right guys just uh turn the watch on this is going to be a little uh a demo video now you're probably looking at me upside down because the um, the camera is on the six o'clock position so when you look at your watch as if you're reading the time everything's gonna be upside down video wise because the idea is to push it forward and you're walking around and your hands to your side like this how you're naturally standing this is the video you're gonna get so this is inside, just normal, well, normal lighting, I suppose. I have a light on, but it's daytime. Let's go outside for a second. Come on, guys, want to go outside? Come on. First, I'm just going to uh, walk around normally. I'm not paying attention to the fact that I'm recording right now. This is how it would normally look if you're just wearing the watch and it turned on. Of course, you can focus in on things if you are conscious of it. So I want to, uh, there's a snowblower over here. This is the one that I happen to fix if you read the tags, which you can still look at. You just got to figure it out. Um, I want to do a video of that. So I can covertly just kind of put my, actually if I put my hand in my pocket of my sweatshirt and I'm conscious of where the screen is facing, I can get a general picture of the snowblower. If I'm walking around or whatever, and this looks very natural to me. I mean, my hands are in my pockets. I'm not putting my arm out funny or anything. And I think I'm in the general vicinity. So I turn down. There's Gus, hopefully. Gus? Gus? What? What? You upset? Because I'm recording you? You, <laughs> you know it, don't you? See, he's too smart. Snowblower doesn't know that. So yeah, and obviously you can hear the sound quality, hopefully I'm standing on leaves, so. And I'm not, I'm talking at a normal level right now. Of course it looks stupid because I'm talking to myself outside, but this is what the audio you can expect from just your hand at your side. So going back to just normal, me walking and stuff. So this is just a little test video, just to get an idea of it. And of course, at the end of every video, will be this because you're looking at your watch to touch the buttons again so you'll be upside down again at the very end all right guys i'm back for a second obviously i'm upside down again because i'm looking at my watch um, what i want to do is i want to do a quick little test for audio let's say you wanted to record audio and not video or you didn't care about the video you're just looking for an audio file for whatever reason maybe you're having a conversation with someone and you want to save that forever for some strange reason um Here's a little test. Obviously, out in the open, you can hear the audio. This is my arm swinging. But uh, here's the audio with my hand and watch inside my front um, uh, pocket on my sweatshirt. So hopefully, you'll see the video playing right now. So you can see it's all black. It's not to be seen at all. But here's my regular talking right now. I'm not yelling. I'm not whispering. This is my normal talking. Now it's out of the pocket again, and I want to continuously talk as I put this into my pocket, my pants pocket, so you get an idea what that might sound like. Just like this, talking, it's in the pocket, it's totally out of the way, and that's how the audio sounds. So, here you go, a little audio test.